Hello everyone. I am so happy to see you again. For the Friday cocktail hour today, I want to invite you to join me for drinks and nibbles in the garden. For nibbles, I am serving a creamy and delicious parsley hummus alongside garden vegetables and crackers. For drinks, we are mixing up a classic Greyhound cocktail. Let's head out to the garden. I need to gather some ingredients for the hummus platter. My friend Victoria made this parsley hummus for a cocktail gathering last weekend, and I thought it was about one of the best hummuses I have ever tasted. So I'm going to reproduce it today. And I will be making the hummus right here in my little food processor. So what I have here is a 15 ounce can of chickpeas, also known as garbanzo beans, and I did drain them, but I have reserved the liquid. I wanted to use dried chickpeas, but my supermarket did not have any. Canned works very well. And in they go. This is a 15 ounce can. So the quantity of chickpeas is about 263 grams. Then I need three garlic cloves, which I'm simply going to smash. Smashed garlic is very easy to peel. Add the garlic directly to the chickpeas. And there are no exact quantities for any of these ingredients. Let your taste buds be your guide. One teaspoon of salt. The juice of one lemon. Then we need about a quarter cup of parsley leaves. This is flat leaf parsley that we just harvested from the garden. I'm going to just roughly chop these. The food processor will do the rest of the work. In they go. Then we need one third cup or about 80 mils of tahini. Tahini is simply pure ground sesame paste. Next, one scallion or green onion. a dash of smoked paprika, a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, and about half of the liquid from the chickpeas. We might add more later. Let it rip. From time to time, push down the ingredients.
Oh, this is good. You can always add more lemon juice or more olive oil or more of whatever ingredient you like. My hummus is a little thick, so I'm going to thin it out with a little more tahini. About that much. I'm also going to add just a tiny dash of cayenne pepper for a whisper of heat. Another taste with a clean spoon. Oh, this is perfection. Oh, it's really good. That tiny amount, that tiny amount of cayenne added just the right amount of heat. It's time to decant the hummus into a little bowl. I love the green specks in this hummus. I like to make a little swirl in the top and then drizzle some olive oil over it. Cover with cling film and then I will pop this into the refrigerator and then we can prepare the veggies. These are some of the carrots that we harvested two weeks ago. I have red dragon, orange bolero, and gold nugget. I'm going to turn these into carrot sticks. And since these are organic, I've simply scrubbed them really well, but I do not have to peel them. And I will save any little scraps for stock. Newsflash, red carrots are orange on the inside. I don't think I'm going to grow a rainbow of carrots next year. I will just stick with basic orange. celery from the garden. I'm saving the greens for stock. I found that homegrown celery is much crisper and also darker hued than supermarket celery. So I will definitely grow celery again next year. It's almost cocktail time. I've given my veggies another good rinse. So I'm going to arrange them right here on this cutting board. My friend Dan Fennell made this board for me. He might make a board for you. I think he's planning to create a website. Dan is really talented with woodworking projects. crackers. A little sprig of parsley for garnish. Let's make the cocktail. This cocktail is called a Greyhound. It's a real classic. It has a tart start and a smooth finish. And it's roughly one part of vodka to two parts of grapefruit juice. Stir. Serve it over rocks.
garnish with a sprig of rosemary. We were going to enjoy our drinks and nibbles outside in the garden, but of course, it's raining now, so let's head into the music room. This rosemary stem is a fragrant stirring device. Mm. Tart and especially refreshing on a hot, humid day like today. This hummus is so delicious. It practically defies description. I hope you will give the hummus, or at least some variation of it, a try someday. And in closing, I just want to say that entertaining a friend or two for drinks and nibbles is one of my favorite things to do. Thank you so much for being my guest today. I hope you have a lovely weekend, and I will see you again on Sunday. I have a dinner party video to share with you then. Bye for now.